so this is a case of ns32 ns4 cataract but an elastic one the patient is diabetic and in such cases the green elastic cataracts are difficult to chop so such cases the endonucleus is very very elastic so even if it get a proper grip to chop it doesn't get divided that easily because of the elasticity so usually chronic diabetic or uncontrolled diabetic such patients usually present with such type of cataract so here i did my first uh, two side ports then the main incision at the limbus now we will proceed with rexis as i say usually we do a rexis of 5.5 mm sirri ke parakin drops poka na 5 mm rexis not larger than that and if it is smaller rexis what happens right to go for capsule of hemosis syndrome post op and if it's larger rexis definitely there will be lens tilt or during the emulsification also it becomes tough to it becomes tough to epitax it becomes tough to epitax ma it becomes tough to during the emulsification the uh, pieces slip out some very hydro dissection this case is the this step is the key step because when the nucleus is elastic there will be lot of cortical component with this and adherent to the capsule so a good hydro using 5% power we'll try to emulsify the superficial cortex now i am trying to give a groove direct of means you can have directly gone into with the facot tool but as this is a case where the nucleus is very much endonucleus is very much elastic we prefer to have a groove now i am going in the matter of the nucleus Just chopping it into two hemi-nucleuses. Now is it got divided? So this is the secret. Whenever there is a thick endonucleus and elastic endonucleus, it doesn't get divided that easily. What we have to do is make a small groove before doing the first chopping. When the groove is made, the uh, facot tip goes smoothly in the matter of the nucleus. and hence we gets the nucleus divided into two hemi nucleuses so i made each hemi nucleus into smaller fragments now i'm just emulsifying them at the plane of the iris even though it's elastic nucleus but because we had done a small groove the further step became easier pointed part of the triangle the last piece usually in the shape of a triangle and the sharp pointed edge does not get directed towards the posterior capsule because it may go for pc disturbance irrigation and aspiration by manual irrigation and aspiration so now i'm just holding the cortex bringing them to the center swiping them from the periphery bringing them to the center then aspirating them so the 
for text was is over now we'll go for iol implantation So this completes our factory emulsification cataract surgery with PCL implantation. In case of a elastic cataract, diabetic elastic cataract where the endonucleus is greenish color and very very elastic and that becomes difficult to chop. Soft cases usually have difficulty in getting a grip but such cases there is different elastic nucleus such cases what we do is usually make a groove in the deeper plane so before getting the nucleus chop first make a deeper plane groove after making the groove then proceed from the direction then it gets easily divided even though the nucleus is elastic in nature